Hey, welcome in my fridge. Do not go just yet. Yes, I'm making a coffee because it looks cool. Yes, this is another software engineer making a day in a live video. And yes, I'm growing a moustache. Three weeks ago, I asked myself a question. Can I, without any knowledge in AI, build a product that will help me learn how this new technology works, but also generate some passive incomes? So for the love of code, but mainly of money, I started to code this new side hustle based on ChatGPT's API. And today, I want to bring you along with me, writing the final lines of code before it becomes completely ready to test by our users. As a very disorganized master procrastinator content creator, I often refer to ChatGPT to help me with my YouTube videos. I need help to find better titles, better intros, and better ideas so you guys can see my videos more often and find them more interesting. The issue is, ChatGPT doesn't know me and doesn't have access to my channel's data. So I'm building exactly that, a ChatGPT for YouTubers. You sign in by connecting your YouTube account. The system then downloads the information about the videos you already published, indexes them in the background, and then gives the right data at the right moment to ChatGPT to help it formulate its answers. For instance, if you type, how many subscribers do I have? 1400, seriously? Okay, it's right, but we've got to do something here. But yeah, ChatGPT knows it. Okay, let me try something more difficult. What's my video with the most views and why? Because now ChatGPT has access to your data, it will be able to analyze them and to give you this type of answers. So like you can see, the product is pretty much built. But I wouldn't be a real developer if I wouldn't cut one last feature without ever asking to my users if they need it. I want to give the opportunity to the users to change the prompt that is given to ChatGPT. Maybe you don't know it yet, but you can basically give to ChatGPT a character, as if he was playing a role in a movie. It's nothing more than a prompt that allows it to know how to interact with the user and how it should behave in the chat. Let me quickly show you what we will be coding. I basically want everything to be in a model. The user will be either able to type a custom prompt or to directly select a character. Because I already had something similar coded that I was using for debugging, I will just create a nicer user interface around it. I'm coding using Next.js and TypeScript. I'm way too lazy to learn another GM's framework, and to be fair, Next.js is freaking damn cool. I decided to go for the version that gives the opportunity to the users to switch between different characters, rather than typing the prompt themselves. They might type something terrible and the product will therefore become useless. First, I start by doing the data structure to store those data. I'm outcoding the values in the code directly because it's easier like that, and I really want to go fast on this one. Then, I need a way to make this model easily accessible when the user needs it. For that, the user can click on this button over the chat to easily switch between characters. A quick question there, am I the only one that loves working on the floor from time to time? Let me know in the comments so we can get bullied by the others together. But anyway, by now, the structure is done and the accessibility of the model as well. So I mostly need to focus on the selection of the character itself. For that, I'm making those big fat buttons, which display the name of the character and a little description of what the character is. After doing some changes here and there to make everything work, I had the feature completely done. And here's the final result. I really hope you like this new format and I will try to make video more fun about side projects like that. And oh, by the way, you should also look at this video. I coded a script that updates the title and the thumbnail of a YouTube video according to the number of views it gets. It needs more views, so go watch it. It's fun. Thanks.